Hi friends and welcome to another video of Just Being Earners. In today's video, I'm going to share how does Propnex make money. Propnex is a real estate agency in Singapore that went IPO in the Singapore stock market on 2nd July 2018. The company's CEO is Ismail Kafour, who has been in the real estate industry for more than 25 years. Starting off as a 2% company, which was him and his wife, he now runs Propnex, which is Singapore's largest real estate agency, with 8,918 salesperson as of 1st January 2021. Before I start, hope you can give a like for this video and also subscribe to my channel. And let's begin. There are four main business segments for Propnex. There is the real estate brokerage, training services, property management, and real estate consultancy. For the real estate brokerage services, Propnex offers a suite of real estate brokerage services representing clients across a spectrum of property segments that include private and HGB resale properties, commercial industrial properties, luxury properties, and also new launches. The revenue is derived from the commission-based fees from the sales and rental of residential, commercial, and industrial properties. For the training services, Life Mastery Academy is a training arm of Propnex and is also a CEA-accredited provider of CBD courses. The academy provides training for a salesperson to equip them with the necessary knowledge to carry out real estate agency work. The academy primarily covers training services to individuals who intend to pursue a career as a salesperson to meet the licensing and registration framework of the CEA. The academy also provides courses for existing salesperson as part of their continuing professional development. The current regulatory framework requires all practicing salesperson in Singapore to undertake mandatory CBD courses for a minimum of six credits each calendar year. For the property management services, Propnex Property Management is principally involved in managing boutique and high-end developments. The management team may be located on-site depending on the attributes of the particular development, such as the number of units under management. The group works with various parties including the management committee to provide services such as property and facility management, administration of common areas, communal and lifestyle services. For the real estate consultancy services, the arm provides corporate sales and auction services, valuation and corporate leasing services. The Corporate Sales and Auction Services Department undertakes transactions across all real estate segments ranging from industrial and commercial space to residential property for investment or personal use. They offer property auction services, HDB auction services, private treaty services, estate sales, trustee sales, mortgagee bank sales, and more. It also provides professional valuation for all types of properties. The Prealition Department provides opinions to clients for mortgage valuation and to corporates for exercises like acquisition of local or overseas companies via asset or sales transfer, initial IPO, and special audit reviews. Promnex currently have presence in four countries, which is Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Indonesia. For market share in Singapore, regarding the private residential new launches, Promnex has 48.8% of the market share. For private residential in the resale market, Propnex has 48.3% and for HGB resale market, Propnex has 57.3%. As for the number of salesperson, you can see here on the left side for Propnex, between the year 2019 to 2021, the number of real estate person in the company has grew from 7,400 to 8,918. Compared to the other companies on the middle to the right side, their numbers are actually a lot smaller compared to Propnex. For the brokerage contribution, this is break down into the different property segments between the private resale, new launches, HGB, rental and landed. For the year 2020, for private resale, the percentage is 18% for the brokerage commission, for new launches is 43%, for rental is 17%, and for HGB is 17%, and for landed is 5%. Let's take a look at the financials. For the group revenue, the company has been growing the revenue at a compound annual growth rate of 22.3% from financial year 2015 to the financial year 2020. For the gross profit and margin, it has been a compound annual growth rate of 24.1% from 19.2 million in gross profit to 56.5 million in gross profit. And for net profit after tax, it has been growing at a compound annual growth rate of 30.3% from 8.3 million to 31.2 million. Here are some examples of how Propnex agents are using social media and videos to increase the sales probability of the units that they are marketing.
Today, our team at GNA Real Estate will be bringing you to the king of all bungalows in the District 13 area. Hi guys, this is Jervis. And I'm Nishong. And welcome to another episode of GNA Unlocked. And here's one of the videos by the Property Link Brothers who were one of the first few to see on the internet to be using videos to market their properties. A Silver Sea offers spectacular sea views with beautiful sunrises and luxury, giving you a duplex, four bed, six bath, 4,596 square feet of living space and Property Brothers is bringing you to this exclusive home tour. Let's check it out with us. Promnex also recently announced that they are venturing into the PropTech space with a proposed acquisition of a 70% stake in OV, which is the People's Marketplace, a technology platform that connects service providers to consumers. The purpose of the acquisition is to provide a technology platform for a salesperson to render further value-added services to his clients and general public. And there we have it for how does PropNex make money? So the majority of the revenue comes from the brokerage services where the buyer and the seller will be paying a commission to the agents from PropNex if they were to help them transact the properties. So overall, as more and more people upgrade their properties or want to rent out the properties, they can either do it themselves or they can engage an agent to do it for them. And by engaging an agent, they will need to pay a commission to the agent for helping them to do the services. Overall, I feel that this business itself is sustainable in the long run due to the fact that many people who want to sell their property or look for a property will prefer to engage an agent who will have more information about the market and able to give them better assessment of how the property's market will be like and what they should look out for. And because of the fact that PropNext is the largest agency in Singapore, they will be able to grow bigger over time and gain more market share. And this will be able to allow the company to grow bigger and get more revenue. Thank you for watching the video. Do hope you like this video and learn something about PropNext. Let me know what other companies I should do next and who knows I'm going to do a video about it. Have a great day ahead and bye-bye.